Time synchronization is the function to synchronize the time for the call station through the NTP protocol. The default setting is off. If the NTP server is selected, the call station will be set as a time server. All the other devices will synchronize the time to it. If the NTP client is selected, the call station will automatically synchronize the time with the time server. Set the server IP address and period. Time zone setting is used to set the time zone of the call station. Choose the time zone of the current location and click the update button to change the time zone of the call station. If all devices is selected, click update and this will change the time zone of all the devices. Date and time is used to view and manually update the device's date and time. Click the get button to read the device's date and time. If the update button is clicked, the time and date of the current call station will be changed. If all devices are selected and the update button is clicked, the time and date of all the devices, such as the DCS3000, the call station, and the NRI will be changed. Language is used to set the system language of the call station. We can set the language for one particular call station or select all for all the call stations. Supervision is used to enable the supervision of the microphone, communication, and connection with the extension keys. If there is a fault, the indicator will glow yellow and a buzz will be generated in the DCS. Devices is used to set the device that can be operated by the call station and other devices such as an SIP phone or other call stations for a full duplex intercom. We can select the DCS which can be operated by this call station in the DCS list. In group list, we can create the groups as needed. Click the plus sign in the group list and you will view and enter the group name then click OK to create a new group. We can edit or delete an existing group here. Group contents is used to define the content of a certain group. We can drag the zones from the speaker line to create a list and create the group contents. The NPS call station task setting contains the playlist and task settings. Playlist is used to set the audio source and the playlist for different tasks. The call station shares the same audio library and public playlist with the DCS. The operation of adding or deleting files in the library is the same as the DCS. File name, size and length, and the total size of the library will be shown at the top of the library. Click the plus icon and select one or more of the audio files from the PC to add to the audio file library. This software supports MP3 and WAV audio formats. The other audio formats will automatically be converted to the proper audio format. Select one or more audio files, click the X icon, and the selected files will be deleted from the library list. Click the plus icon to create a playlist. Enter the playlist name and select the playlist type, public or private. The public playlists can be used by the DCS3000 and the call station. The private playlist can only be used for the call connected on the call station. After creating a playlist, drag the audio files that you need from the library to the content area. Task is used to view, add, edit, or delete the broadcast tasks. Click the plus icon and the dialog box will open. Here we will set the parameters for each of the tasks. First enter the task name and select the type for this task. There are two different types that can be selected, normal and emergency. Normal is used for the public address function such as the background music or a voice broadcast. They have a priority range assigned from 56 to 255. Emergency is used for the emergent broadcast and the priority range for those broadcasts is between 1 to 55. Audio type contains two different audio sources. 
we can choose the audio from the playlist, or we can select Net Audio, which refers to the external audio sources connected with the NRI or the DCS. In the policy area, we can define the policy for each task. Delay is used to specify a time in the range of 0 to 600 seconds, for which the audio is delayed before being played. Priority is used to set the priority of the task. If multiple playlists and play tasks are set to broadcast at the same zone simultaneously, the highest priority task will be played. The smaller the value, the higher the priority. For example, number 1 is the highest priority, where number 255 is the lowest priority. Loop is used to set the play count for each task. Forever means the playback of the audio file will indefinitely play unless you choose to close this task. Recovery is used to resume the previous task which was interrupted by the higher priority task. Repeat interval and song interval can also be set here. In the target area, we can select the appropriate groups and zones to activate the dry contact output. For the NPMS call station operation settings, we can start at the physical key setting. All equipped extended key modules, such as the K4 or the K8, are displayed in the extended key list. Users can double click the item to set the function in trigger mode. Task broadcast, volume control, speaker line, group, and close zones can be specified to a key. The default function is none. Two trigger modes can be chosen for task broadcast, such as press and toggle. Only the toggle function is selected for the other functions. If we set the key as task broadcast, toggle or press can be selected in the trigger mode. If toggle is selected, the button will function as an on or off switch. If press is selected, you must hold the button for as long as you wish to broadcast. If we set the key as volume control, users can set the volume and step and target zone or group. Pressing the button will increase or reduce the volume. If we set the key to speaker line, the key can be used to select a target zone to conduct a full broadcast. The key can also be used to select a group if we set it as a group function. We can set the key as a switch to close the selected zones. In the one-click button setting, double-click the options in the window to set the name function of relevant options. Task broadcast function can be set. The default setting is none. Select trigger mode to choose toggle or press and choose a specific task by clicking the task name. The zones and tasks can be set to be controlled by manual broadcast. In the above two lists, one list shows the zones and groups, which can be controlled by the NPMS call station. The other shows the task list that can be used in the manually broadcast window. Choose zones in the upper left window. Left click to drag them into the left bottom list. Each zone and group is corresponding to the buttons in manually broadcast. Broadcast operation of speech synthesis can be conducted by the NPMS call station. Relevant settings, such as set task and content, can be configured before operating. Content settings of speech synthesis are languages, audio files, and synthesis. Languages are set to the broadcast language. In audio files, users can set the basic elements for speech synthesis, which are speech segments. Speech segments, including description and audio files, can be added here. Voice description is where you will set the wording of your message. This will be displayed in the operation menu of the NPMS call station. Click the plus sign to select audio files, then click the X to delete. Every speech segment should include some corresponding audio files, otherwise a broadcast error may occur. 
In speech synthesis, the synthesis rules category and its corresponding speech is set in this window. The category list shows all the speech types. Click the plus sign to add new categories, then click the X to delete. The name of the category can be entered directly. Select the front checkbox to enable the category in the NPMS call station. After selecting a category, the voice segments can be set. Each category includes 10 segments, and each segment can have up to 255 optional audio files. Volume setting is to select groups or speaker lines to adjust the volume. Drag and drop the zones into this area. User setting is used to set different user names and passwords and different operator permissions operated by different users. Click the plus sign to add a new user and set the name and the password. Choose the pencil sign to edit an existing user name and password and click the cross sign to delete it. Operator permissions include many functions. We can select the corresponding functions for different users as needed. Here we will demonstrate how to download the config file. After you have finished the configuration, we need to download the configuration to the devices. Confirm the PC is connected to the X618 system through the Ethernet network and the IP address of the PC and devices are set to the same segment. By clicking the download button, the software will check the configuration contents automatically. If any errors exist, the error window will display all of the errors. The DCS and the MPMS are located in four separate tabs for downloading. We can choose the devices and downloading content as needed. Select the download button to download the data via the internet. The progress bar and description show the current download status. When there are multiple device groups, click the device group button in the bottom left to select the groups that need a download configuration. Here we will browse recorded files and the system log. Select the software menu tools and select browse recorded files in the call station as the window is displayed. Select the call station device from the drop down and select the query button. Then all the recorded files in the device are shown. Select recorded files and then click the export button to save the recorded files to a local disk. The DCS 3000 log can be queried through this software. Select the menu tools and browse log in DCS 3000. Functions include DCS, date, query, and save as. Only the DCS 3000 can be selected from the DCS list. When cre creating a query log, first select the name of the DCS and then set the start date and end date. Select query and log contents will be displayed. For more contents, drag the slide bar to review. If there is a need to save logs in a local place, click Save As button and select the saving path in the window. Input a name to save as a text version. The MPMS call station log can be queried through this software. From the software menu, choose Tools and select Browse Log in the NPMS call station. Functions include NPMS call station, date, query, and save as. To query a log, select the name of the NPMS call station and set the start date and end date. Select query and the log contents will be displayed. For additional contents, drag the slide bar to review. Select the Save As button to save the logs locally, and select the saving path in the window, input a name to save as a text file. Here we will demonstrate how to upgrade the DCS, NRI, the call station firmware. The firmware of the DCS, NRI, and the NPMS call station can be upgraded as needed. Choose from the software menu Tools, and then select Upgrade, DCS, NRI, 
NPMS call station firmware. A firmware query will display the software version along with the IP address, the device type, file system version, kernel version, app version, MAC address, MCU version, and the device ID. To upgrade the firmware select, click select to select the object program file, which is .bin format, and click the upgrade button. We can add a new language for the configuration tool if it is needed. First, open the language CFG XLS file in the installation directory of the software. Now add a new language in column E. Add the new language description here. When you are finished, save the file. At this point, you need to restart the configuration software. Select the Tools menu, select Language, and the new language is displayed in the Language drop-down list.